Hey everybody, welcome back to C++ Programming. I'm your host, Root of the Null. In the last video, we were looking at comparison operators and uh, the other testing operators that we can use in our conditional statements with the if statement. We had uh, not, we had less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, that sort of thing. Um, in this case, we're going to show you the else statement. So, I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of this. Uh, my file will now become 11 underscore else statement. CPP. You can see that exists. Uh, okay, no, you can't see it anymore. Man, we have broken the limit. I guess you'll just have to trust me. Okay, I'm going to keep this example of how many virgins do you find and that sort of thing and what Bin Laden had said. So let's do a test. Let's test if the number of virgins that we found is greater than what Bin Laden said, then we have Bin Laden underestimated it a little bit. I'm sure you remember that from the last time we ran this code and we tested it all out. I'll bring over my uh, my terminal. Let's go 11 and run it. Whoa! That's a big error. Hit me, Anna. Okay, sorry about that. I do realize the problem. I, uh, I tab completed this and I did not include the .cpp uh, at the end of my file name. So now if I run this, okay, it'll run just fine for us. Hello world! How many virgins did you find? Well, I found 100. And Bin Laden underestimated a little bit. He thought there were 72, where in fact there were 100. Holy crap, that's a whole lot of virgins. Now, we can introduce the else statement. The else statement can go naturally anywhere after the if statement. It can go right over here. It can go down here. It can go way down here. It doesn't really matter. Keep in mind that your code is going to be compiled into um, eventually the machine code. So this else statement doesn't really matter. We are going to use brackets once more, so we have a, a little bit of a code block here. And um, then we continue on. Because we have this if number of virgins is greater than what Bin Laden said, else is the other case of this. It's where the condition is false. So this means if the number of virgins is greater than what Bin Laden said, this is everything else. So that means, that, okay, number of virgins is equal to what Bin Laden said, or the number of virgins is less than what Bin Laden said. So let's see, display, Bin Laden was either right or overshot it a bit. And let's end the line there. Now that we have that else statement in effect, let's run the code. How many versions did you find? I found 20. Bin Laden was either right or overshot it a bit. In this case, he overshot it a bit. He thought there were 72 when there were only 20. Now, how many versions did you find? I found 72. Bin Laden was either right or overshot it a bit. In this case, he was right. There were 72 virgins. But we still have the initial condition when there were 700... Wow, 700 virgins. Okay, let's do it. Whatever. 700 virgins compared to 72. Bin Laden underestimated a little bit. That works okay for us. Now let's, uh, let's test... Let's expand on this again in the next tutorial. Because this else statement is pretty simple, right? It's just the it's just the opposite case of this condition up here. It could be anything else. And that's exactly what this else means. If, then, else. So, that's the point that I wanted to get across to you guys. Really, really simple syntax. Just the word else. And the code block of what will happen after that. And, um, simple idea. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next tutorial where we expand on this even more.